result for Clubhouse 3. Uh, so in this part, this is the second part of the comparison. And I will show the result for Clubhouse 2, which is behind all current RTM. And in this comparison, we are comparing the image resolution at the target. Uh, here is the Clubhouse image condition to RTM formula. And S is the for the propagated wave field. And R is the back propagated wave field. And I is the image. And uh, here shows the velocity model we use to generate the data. And for the migration, we use a homogeneous uh, velocity model. And uh, here I use the uh, same wavelet as Chang used for uh, the Clever 3 test. And here, the blue line, which is a Ricoh wavelet. And we used use that wavelet to represent for broadband data. And the red, and the red uh, wavelet, uh, uh, which, uh, which is a uh, Ricoh wavelet without some low frequency. And we use that to represent for conventional data. And the pink uh, wavelet, which is uh, without a further low frequency. And we sh show, you, show here to show you the trend. And in last presentation, my uh, colleague Chang Fu has shown you the different uh, side lobe of the input data. And uh, I'm using exactly the same data. Yes. As Chang did. Yes. It's the same. The differences will be in imaging. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so next, I will show you the uh, result for Clever Two. And here, the uh, left uh, figure shows the Clever Two image with low frequency. That is the broadband data. And the uh, right figure shows the Clever Two image without low frequency, which is uh, represents for the conventional data image. <coughs> and we can plot. Uh, one trace from this image and plot, plot, plot them together. And, uh, and we can see here the, uh, the blue line is the data, is a broadband data image. And the red line is the uh, conventional data image. And we can see the reduction of the first side lobe uh, with broadband data is only 20%, 20% for Clubout 2. So uh, here, uh, this test uh, shows that uh, all our current RTM and it can about two are high frequency approximations, and hence that do not treat low frequencies with equal fidelity as high frequencies at the target and image. And uh, in our group, MOSRP, we have developed the first migration method that is equally effective at all recorded frequencies at the target and reservoir. And this test shows our first result that quantify that difference and differential added value. And from this test, we can see the new image method, which is Clubhouse 3. The, for Clubhouse 3, the uh, side lobe reduced for more than 50% with broadband data. And for Clubhouse 2, uh, RTM, the reduction is only 20%. So this result shows that the, new image method, which is Clubhouse 3, is able to benefit from low broadband data for structural resolution improvement to a much greater extent than the current best industry standard. Thank you.